Daily Game Train. Welcome back. Thursday. We got a good workout lined up for you guys. Coach D, back with you guys, like I said yesterday. Uh, I'm going to be doing today. Coach Shaw, he's back tomorrow. He's got you guys covered uh, with the morning shift. So uh, let's enjoy. We made a little swap. We were supposed to do a workout. He really wanted to do this workout tomorrow with these pistols. So I said, why don't we just switch? So I'm doing what was supposed to be Friday's workout today, and he's going to do what was supposed to be Thursday's workout tomorrow. All right? He just loves showing off the strength of those big legs. That's, it's all about leg form, leg day. Today, what we got for you guys is we got some core stuff to start, and then we're going to go from core stuff into an eight-round workout with dumbbell snatches, burpees, and mountain climbers. Good morning. Yes, I know I was late. I can't believe it. I was actually, give me one second here, scroll down, read the comment. I know. I was looking at, I have another clock here. It actually says 801 on this clock, but this clock is two minutes late, so I apologize that I was a little bit late. I'm glad that you guys are joining me here though this morning. I'm already getting a hard time. So, without further ado, let's Let's get started on the warm-up. I'll explain to you what we're going to be doing afterwards. What you're going to need for today, I have two dumbbells here. I'm going to use a lighter dumbbell for the warm-up, and then I'm going to use a heavier dumbbell for the actual workout portion of, uh, of our workout. Okay? So if you don't have a dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use anything you have at home. Just Something that you can press overhead for uh, for the warm up portion. All right. So we're going to start in ten seconds. We got two rounds that we're going to go through. The first thing we're going to do is high knees. Okay. So all here we go. Thirty seconds of alternating high knees. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. You can start with your knees. Not going too high if you're just getting started this morning. It doesn't have to be knees to the chest. We're just trying to get some blood flow going to the muscles. We're going to go for another five seconds, and then we're going to go into butt kicks for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Heels to butt. 30 seconds. Try to keep the knees pointed at the ground. Keep those the front of your legs nice and straight. It's almost like you're running on the spot, kind of. For another 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you're going to grab that light dumbbell. Or whatever you have, whether it's a, you know, a can of sparkling water this morning. I love those, by the way. If you guys ever want to gift me something, if you're down by crawling, give me a uh, pack of soda water. I would love those so much. All right, so we're going to go for a strict press, okay? So we're going to go for five presses on each arm, starting now. Ready? One, two. Trying to get the arm as straight as possible as you press. Three, four, five, and then switch arms. You're going to bring it to the other side. Thing. Keep the belly tight, squeeze your butt. One, two, three, four, and five. And then from here, we're going to do a 30 second hold. Starting now, pressing the dumbbell straight up overhead and try and keep the belly engaged so that you're not arching through the low back here. And you're pressing up towards the ceiling as much as possible. My traps from yesterday's uh, Olympic lifting are really sore. Maybe you had that with the push presses from yesterday, but I can feel it just pushing up on this dumbbell. I can feel my traps and switch sides. So we're going for 30 seconds on the other side. Not quite as bad on this side, actually. This side's not, uh, not as tight. Maybe I was shrugging more with the one shoulder. So keep pressing up towards the ceiling, keep 
keep that rib cage pulled down as much as you can. Lock out your quads. Lock out your uh, glutes. So squeeze your butt. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go back to high knees. 30 seconds. Hope you guys are doing awesome this morning. Uh, this is my first workout. I started to work at 6 this morning, but I didn't get to go to my other gym in the morning. So I am going to tear up this workout with you guys today. I guarantee you, you'll have a hard time keeping up with me today. I'm going to be moving. Moving and grooving. Alright, butt kicks, heels, to butt. And yeah, there's more burpees in today's workout. Sue me. They're good for you. High conditioning level. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, from here, grab that dumbbell. If you want to go heavier at this point, you can. I'm going to stick with the lighter dumbbell. And we're going for five press. One, two, three, four, and five. We're warming up that overhead position for the snatches, which are going to come later. One, two, three, four, and five. Once you're done five, you're going to bring it back to the other side. We're going for a 30 second hold and up. Press towards the ceiling. Tight belly. Lock out that elbow as much as you can. And then you're just holding. We're trying to support with the shoulder. Get the arm stacked as much as you can above your shoulder. We're going to hold for another 10 seconds. And switch sides. We got 30 seconds on the opposite side. Same thing. Press up. Try and get into a comfortable position. If I can do this, anybody can do this because I'm pretty tight through the shoulders and the upper back. So holding something uh, with my arms straight beside my ears is not the most comfortable position for me, but I'm working on it. So let's hold for another five, four, three, two, and one. And that's all I need this light dumbbell for is just the activation portion. See what we got. Yeah, we got a crew here today. I love it. You guys are on the ball and you're with me every step of the way. So, just going to set a 10 minute clock because as you can see, our as you can see, I have to focus when I do this or else I sort of get lost. I'm a guy, right? Dudes are, dudes are like this. So, we're going to do 10 minute EMOM on the first minute. We're going to do a plank. We're going to work for 40 seconds and then we're going to rest for 20. Then we're going to flip over into a hollow position and then we're going to go for a hollow flutter kicks. And your flutter kicks, we're going to stay like 8 to 10 inches off the ground with the feet. So what it's going to look like, plank, you can either go on your elbows or on your hands, but you're thinking about squeezing your butt. Squeezing your belly, keep everything tight here, trying to hollow out your body. The more I squeeze everything, the harder the plank gets. The more relaxed you are on your plank, the harder it is on your back. But it's kind of like, a, I call those lazy planks. We don't want lazy planks. From there, you're going to lie on your back. We're going to get into a hollow position. So you can either go, I do want your shoulders off the ground. You can make it a little easier by having your hands by your side, or you can have your knees tucked in, and you can do a little bit of a bicycle instead of the flutter kicks to make them slightly easier. Okay, so I'm going to keep you guys on track. 
Just follow me. We're going to go for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Five rounds of each 10-minute EMOM. And that will get the core fired up before we hit our intensity piece in the workout. So here we go in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and plank. We're squeezing. I'm trying to think about squeezing my butt cheeks together as tightly as I can. And I'm pulling my belly button towards the ceiling, right? So I'm trying to, it's almost like I'm trying to round out my lower back. If you guys want to do more than 40 seconds, by all means, you can. If you guys are rock stars, you have like washboard abs or just a core of steel, go for it. But I think this is going to get pretty challenging as we go. So three, two, one. Take a little rest. You're going to flip onto your back. And then we're going to go into our hollow hole flutter kick. I think this is going to get really challenging. I can already feel my stomach after one point. That's bad. That's bad news. Three, two, one. And I'm going to go, I'm going to start with the arms overhead, but I guarantee you I'm not going to stay here for the whole time. And then Flutter kicks, if they get really hard, don't be uh, afraid to bring the legs a little bit higher. This will make it a little bit easier, okay? So either way for you, whatever is more comfortable, just try and keep your shoulders off the ground. Keep your back, your low back, firmly planted into the ground. Ten seconds to go. Three. Two, one, and relax. And as you guys flutter your legs, think about squeezing your quads. You want to keep your quads as tight as you can throughout that whole movement. And we're going back into the plank in 10 seconds. Core is going to be on fire. I'm telling you that right now. Three, two, one, and hold. So we're back in that plank position. I'm trying to keep everything from my knees to my shoulders tight. Everything is engaged as possible. But I'm still breathing here. I'm going to breathe in through the mouth. No, sorry. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 15 seconds to go. I hope you guys got music on so you don't have to hear me like struggling through. Well, right now I'm not too bad, but I know that two, one. I know that as we get further into this, I'll probably be moaning and groaning. This guy's eyes are not fantastic. I need more of this stuff in my life. Most people do. You have the odd person that loves this. Two, one, and let's get into those flutter kicks. I'm pointing my toes. I'm squeezing my quads. I'm trying to keep my shoulders off the mat. Maybe I'm going with my hands by my side just to help myself out a little bit. And I'm engaging through that midline. We've got 15 seconds to go.
swing, two, one, and rest. So you're halfway done your planks. Actually, we're halfway done this portion of the workout. Uh, but let me tell you, this, this part is going to hurt, it's going to burn, but the other part, the fun part, is going to be a struggle. Here we go. So I'm going hand by side because I'd rather do this properly, press my back into the mat, and see if I can maintain these flutters for as long as I can. The flutters do not have to be fast. Just think about keeping the legs straight, walk out, pressing the back into the mat. 10 seconds. Three, two, oh, man. That's it. Take a little rest. We have two sets of each left. I do have another comment. I'm just too far. I don't want to race. Actually, you know what? After the time, I'll come see what, uh, what our viewers are saying. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And up we go. So maintain that engagement, right? Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly. Don't get lazy as this gets harder because your abs are starting to cramp up a little bit. Stay active. I'm doing a lot of talking now. I'm trying to stay engaged with you guys because in this eight round workout that we're going to do next, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to try and smash this workout today with you. Two, one, and rest. I'm going to make my way over here. Linda, those hollow flutters suck. Aren't they fun though? They're, I think they're great. They're, uh... Yeah. Let's go. So five, four, three, two, one, let's go. We got two more of the flutters, one more of the plank. Keep that chin sort of tucked in. You can look up towards the ceiling. But the most important thing is don't let your low back arch. Don't, try not to let it come off the ground. We've got 15 seconds to go. Fight through. 10 seconds. Three, two, wow, rest. All right. So one of each. One of each to go. The cramping is real. 10 seconds. Everybody's probably begging to get back on the, on the planks. That's how I feel. Let's get back to these planks. I can do this all day. Three, two, one. And let's go. Plank. As I say this, even the planks are starting to get a little challenging. Coach D, the abs are fading away. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Is anybody doing all the full minute? Let me know if you're doing, you're doing the full minute. If you guys are crushing the full minute, you are rock stars. If you're doing the 40 seconds, you're rock stars. All right, five seconds in, we're on our last set. Two. One, here we go. I'm going hands by side. Let's try and hold on for the last 40 seconds of work. I'm slowing down on those flutters, trying to keep everything in control. My abs are really burning. Oh, we only got 15 seconds left. 10, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Okay, 
saying. That's enough for me. I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of that. It's all brown. Let's get over 10 viewers. We're at six live. So six live. It doesn't mean there's only been six all day. But six live, that means six of you are with me right now. B, that is the end of the first 10 minute segment. Just grabbing a quick sip. You guys can do the same. And this is where the workout gets fun, in my opinion. Okay? If you guys weren't having too much fun in that first part, I guarantee you will have some fun in the second part. So, unless you hate burpees, then you might not have fun. But I love burpees, so I'm going to enjoy this. Alright, we have eight rounds of ten alternating dumbbell snatches. So a dumbbell snatch, dumbbell starts from the ground unless you're injured. If you have a, like a low back injury, you can start from the hang position. And the hang position would just be basically from the knees. I'll pick up the dumbbell, I'll do one. So starting from the knees, opening the hips and hitting the dumbbell over shoulder, or sorry, overhead, in one movement, right? So starting from the knee, straight up, there's a shrug, and then a high pull, and then a punch, okay? So try not to stop at your shoulders. What I don't want to see is dumbbell to shoulder, and then press overhead. It should be high pull, turn, and press, all in one movement, all right? For those who can, I know most of you can, you guys are fit people, not a lot of injuries going on, we're going to start from the ground, and we're going to go into a straight overhead position, okay, so it's here, chest is up, using my legs and my hip, I get straight up overhead, switch hands, I can switch overhead, if I'm comfortable, if I'm not, I can bring it to my shoulders and switch here. So it comes to the shoulder first, switch hands, or I can place it on the ground, switch hands, and go for my next dumbbell snatch. Okay, so that's going to be the three options of the way that you are going to switch your dumbbell from one side to the other. From 10 dumbbell snatches, you're going to go. 10 burpee over dumbbell. So your burpee over dumbbell is going to be chest and thighs to the ground. You can step back, you can jump back, whatever you want. To your feet, you can stay in a crouched position and jump laterally over your dumbbell. You can stand up and jump laterally over your dumbbell or you can step over, okay? If you don't want to jump, you don't want to risk tripping and hurting yourself, then you can go ahead and just step over your dumbbell. And then your last movement is going to be 40 mountain climbers, which is going to be 20 per side. So these you can do fast, it doesn't have to be controlled. In a high plank position, one knee to the chest, other knee, so this would be a little bit of a slower version. A little bit faster would be like one, two, three, four, five, seven, all the way to 40. All right? I'm going to give us like, I'm just guesstimating here, but 20 minutes is going to be, I'm going to call it the cap. Okay? 20 minute cap. We're at eight viewers live with us right now. Let's go. A couple more. Coach D's doing burpees more than we already have in the workout. All right? So, I'm going to let Coach Saul, I think he's just watching us, probably being like, I'm going to do this workout later, I'm going to crush all of you, but I know that we got, as a team, we can do this, alright? So I'm going to give you guys 20 minutes or less to finish this workout, I'm just guessing, like I said, if I'm at 7 rounds and I'm already at 20 minutes, I'm going to keep going, you should too. Uh, yeah, it's set for 20 minutes, I believe. Yes. All right, your last, this is your last chance to get a sip of 
water if you want, but once we get started, I don't want you to stop. I want you to move through this. Don't stop the party. Don't, don't, don't stop the party. You know, the black eyed peas. Go something like that. Ten seconds. Let's go, team. Push it. Three, two, one, and go. So straight up overhead, using your legs to. So two rounds done for me. Hope you guys are keeping up or passing me. I'm going to try and get right into this third round. Using the legs as much as I can on my snatches. Less arms, more legs to drive that heavy dumbbell up towards the ceiling. Crouch down in your burpees. You don't have to stand up. You can step over. Keep going here, team. Push your legs. Grab some water if you need it. Keep 
Come down. Back to the burpees. So just know you're doing a lot of upper body work, holding yourself up with the mountain climbers, pushing yourself up with the burpees. So use those legs in your snatches. Mountain climbers are hard just to hold yourself up after the burpees. Forty. So halfway. Halfway down for me. Take a quick breather and then keep moving. Use those legs. Chest tall on the snatch. Drop through the hips with the dumbbell as it comes down. Yeah, my arm's just trying to hold myself up. And those mountain climbers starting to get fatigued. The burpees are having an effect. Let's check the viewership. Everybody still with me? Oh man, we had some people leave. What's going on? This is the workout portion. This is where you push it. So I'm working on round number six. Have I told you guys? Six rounds down, two rounds to go. We're almost at the 10 minute mark. We're at about 9.25 right now. So keep plugging away. Forty-five runners, and one round to go. 
Mais. Ten. Bring it to the first. Keep going here team, plug away, work hard, post your score once you're done with your weight that you use. Keep going. Linda's happy about all these burpees. But you know what? Every day you come in here and you still get it done, and those burpees will make you fitter every time you do them. I know you and Trish battling head to head. You're probably just going synchro, to tell you the truth. I know you guys are like joined at the hip at synchro. A lifestyle where it's like, okay, let's do our burpees at the same speed. Let's move through these. Let's make, uh, first of all, let's make Coach Steve proud. I am proud of you guys. Second of all, you know, doing things as a team is a lot better than doing stuff alone. And that's why having you guys here every day makes a huge difference to us. We're happy to bring whatever we can to the half members, and I know that you guys enjoy it. Our chats have been off the charts lately. We know that we have some people that participate a little bit more in the chats than others. They ain't shy, and they also tell us how it is. Don't bite your tongue at all. Just let us know what you like, what don't you like, what do you want to see more of. been having some amazing feedback with regards to the only lifting. So I think that's something that's going to be a staple. Once a week, we're going to work on either the clean, the clean and jerk, the jerk, or the snatch. All super powerful, explosive movements. You guys are getting better. We're at the 15 minute mark. I am almost convinced that with how fast that went, I know I might be like the burpee king, yeah, 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 I'm just kidding, but I do love burpees. Uh, so I might have moved a little bit faster, but all that to say that I know that you guys are moving fast at home. So once you're done, post your score so that I know that we can start looking at stretching a little bit. We're going to open up the core, we're going to open up the hip flexors from that 
10 minute emon that we did. And then we've been doing a lot of pressing lately, so we'll just open up the shoulders and the chest. I will give you guys another two minutes. Okay, we're going to go till the 18 minute mark. I think that will be sufficient. I think you guys are probably done. Or close to it. Yes, Mark. Mark posts the score, 15, 10, 25 pound dumbbell. Love that, that is like textbook, that's right in the wheelhouse where we wanna be. Hope you're sweating as much as me. Like, can you guys see this on this face? Glistening forehead. A lot of forehead to get to. There's a lot right there, so. We got five viewers. I hope that all these five just like finishing this off like maniacs then they're gonna run to their computer they're gonna be like I just finished in 16 blah or maybe you finished in 10 and now you're just like chilling having a glass of water but we're gonna go for one more minute and then we get into our stretch Thanks for joining today obviously we'd love to see you at Carling but not everybody is uh and I'm 59, 59 years old, Mark, moving like a champ, doing that workout, that's amazing. I say, I always say like your, your age, but young, you know? I'm 36 years young, 59 years young. But to tell you the truth, at 36, I'm better than I was at 26 because I take things more seriously and, uh, you know, nutrition's a little bit better, uh, training is a little bit more intense, and I work with beautiful people who help me push myself every single day. 20 seconds to go, and then we'll stretch. Oh, and uh, yes. Who beat who? Somebody finished at 16.05 and somebody finished at 16.25. Who was the champ today? Was it Linda or was it Trish? All right, that is time. If you're not done, finish it off while I go through the stretch here. So like I said, we're gonna open up the stomach, the hip flexors a little bit here. So first stretch, pretty simple. We're gonna start on our stomach. We're gonna press ourselves up. You want you can start on your elbows. Try and keep your hips against the ground here, and you're moving through that lumbar spine. So your low back is actually a lot of times we tell you not to arch your low back. At this point, the low back is arching so that your stomach muscles are spreading. You're stretching out. Okay. If you don't have enough stretch there, you can use your hands. Prop yourself up. Here. But again, it's always better to have your hips closer to the ground for a fuller stretch in the front of the hips. All right, next one we're going to take a. What I'm going to I'm going to take one of these dumbbells to help me with my balance. I'm going to take my one leg forward and I'm going to try. Let's see if I can do this. Can't even do it. So I'm just going to go for a nice long stretch. If you can, grab your back leg and pull your back leg to your butt. The reason the Dr. D can't do it, hip flexors are really, really, really tight and a low back. Not always in the greatest position, but I still get a nice big stretch in the hips here. If you want a little bit extra stretch in the stomach and all down that lateral side, go ahead and reach to your opposite side. The other thing, slipping and sliding, this red part of the mat is honestly like a slip and slide. You start sweating on this, there's no controlling what's going on. So go ahead and switch sides. You're 
You're going to reach up and reach to the opposite side to get a full stretch of stretch in that back hip flexor and the abs. Everybody knows this one, a little scorpion stretch. So stretch out the shoulders and the chest. You're going to line your arms around in a T, maybe a little bit higher than shoulder height. You're going to roll to one side. Think about bringing your heel towards your hand. And then you're going to switch to the other side. So we're just going to go back and forth here. Heel towards the hand. And rotate side to side. I must have tight biceps because I even feel this one in my biceps. Let's go for one more each side. Last one. Take it to one side, so you're going to reach all the way over to the right. Put your left hand over your right hand. Get a nice stretch down that left side. And over to the left. Put your right over your left. Last one, open up to the shoulders and the chest. You're going to sit back on the heels. We're going to open, so you're going to turn your palms face away from you. You're going to press your heels up towards the ceiling. And we're going to stretch the shoulders, reach your chin, your chin and your chest up towards the ceiling, and open up those hips. So it's stretching the quads, hip flexors. It's almost like I'm driving my pelvis and my glutes up towards the ceiling and hold that for a good like 20 seconds here while I check in on my favorite people one more time before I say goodbye for the day. Thanks for joining. Trisha and I hate burpees. <laughs> oh. Hey, we can't please everybody, right? But I bet everybody else is just like, you don't hear us complaining. No, I'm just kidding. You guys are doing great though. Even though you see burpees, you still come back for your workouts, which is all that we can ask from you, you know? Come in, get fitter every day. See our, you know, interact with us. I was gonna say see our beautiful faces, but I mean, I might only be speaking for Saul when I say that. But thanks for joining me on this Thursday. I love having you guys. Um, I will see you next week. I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be checking in you tomorrow, throwing some comments in the chat, giving, you know, Coach Paul a little bit of a hard time. 
but you guys have a big skill day tomorrow working on some pistol single leg squat. So enjoy that. Have a great weekend. Okay, from me because I, I won't see you tomorrow. And we'll see you next week. Saul will see you tomorrow. Tune in.